Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are hiking to a series of waterfalls in the Bankhead National Forest, and the first one up today is the Casper Creek Falls, and today I am hiking with a bunch of friends. Can I be on your YouTube channel, please? <laughs> <laughs> In this video, we tour three spectacular waterfalls, all in the same region of the Bankhead National Forest in northwest Alabama. These waterfalls are all very easily accessible with short trails from well-maintained, though unpaved, Forest Service roads. Today we will be visiting Casper Creek Falls, Holmes Chapel Falls, and finally Coal Mine Falls. The trailhead to Casper Creek Falls is along Hickory Grove Road just north of the intersection with Mount Olive Road. The trail to the falls is very easy and gentle walk of about one mile to the east of the road. You follow along a small creek that joins with another and then goes over the upper falls before continuing on to the much more impressive lower falls. The most difficult part of the trail is the final descent into the canyon containing the falls, but it's worth the effort. You then return by the same route you came back in to the road and the overall hike is about two miles. All right, we have parked alongside the road here and it, we actually went a little bit too far. I had to walk up the road just a bit to find the trail, but here is the trail. So uh, off we go down the trail. Very pretty little stream we're walking along here today. taking advantage of a nice big uh, pine tree that has fallen across the stream here. <laughs> it's a very pretty water slide here. Just gorgeous. Wouldn't you just like to come here on a sunny day and lay in the, play in the water? Hey, that's today. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a stream coming in from the left over here, joining up with this one. Going down here, right below my feet. Very pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, look at this natural bridge they're walking over. That is so cool. Isn't that neat? Look at that. Wow, that is the nicest arch of a bridge. No, I've never been here before. That is so cool. And what a waterfall. I'm rock so pretty. We just left that upper falls, headed for the lower falls. And uh, trail's a little hard to follow, but it's on the, the south side of the creek here, um, or the right side going downstream. And uh, it's, it's traceable. But up ahead here, you can see the water just kind of stops. Yeah, that's the top of the falls. But the trail goes up out of the canyon, around the falls, and then back down in. So it's a little bit of a climb. All right, I've topped the ridge, and I'm going back down. Oh, very nice. 
Whoa. Can't see it well through the trees yet. A little water running here and a rock overhang. Wow, that is amazing. We have climbed back up to the top of the falls and are heading back up to the upper falls now. All right, we have returned to the upper falls. Catch our breath here a bit and uh, go back up and keep on going uphill. First violets of spring. All right, we are almost back to the car. So uh, just in the last stretch here. So that was a spectacular waterfall. One down. Let's see if we can get in a couple more today. Off we go. A short one and a half miles down the Mount Olive Road, you will find the trailhead to the Holmes Chapel Falls. This is the easiest to get to of the three waterfalls we're visiting today and is always rewarding to visit. The trail follows about a quarter mile of clear forest service road down a gentle slope to the top of the falls. The descent down into the canyon is challenging, but again, definitely worth it. Once you've taken in as much as the falls as you can handle, you return to the trailhead by the same route that you came in for a total hike of about a half a mile. All right, we are at the second waterfall today, the Holmes Chapel Falls. It's an easy hike down to that, so off we go. All right, we are at the trailhead for the next waterfall. So we're going to head off this way. So this trail, if you want to call it that, is, uh, is actually an old forest road and it's very, very short. Um, I, I'd be surprised if it's a quarter mile down here to the waterfall. It's, uh, it's easy going. This is, uh, this is a walk in the park. So this is the top of Holmes Chapel Falls. Woo, the triple eight trickling water is really pretty along here. There are some amazing fossils near, under this overhang. There's a really nice piece of petrified wood up there. Leaves a nice wood grain imprint. And there's a dark spot over there that is a uh, imprint from a log. Very cool. Oh yeah, and then the 
In this bank right here, I can see one too. All right, we are climbing back up and out of here, which is not gonna be too hard. It's a nice wide road. All right, that was Holmes, Holmes Chapel Falls. And uh, we are gonna consider whether we're gonna do one more. So uh, off we go. Continuing a half a mile up the Mount Olive Road, you make a left turn onto the Holmes Chapel Forest Service Road and follow that another one mile to the trail head for the Coal Mine Falls. The trail to the Coal Mine Falls begins by descending gently down an old Forest Service Road for about a half a mile, where it follows the creek down to the top of the falls, a mere tenth of a mile later. Again, it is a steep descent down to the bottom of the falls, but after visiting the first two, you can't leave this one untouched. You then return to the trailhead by the same way you came in for a total hike of about 1.2 miles. All right, we are on to our third waterfall of the day. Fourth. This is the Coal Mine Falls. Fourth. Yeah, technically fourth because the one hike had two waterfalls, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so technically it's our fourth waterfall. But this is the uh, Coal Mine Falls, uh -uh. and uh, yeah. so off yeah. we go. Well, there's the top of the falls. So we got to find our way around the side of it. There's Coal Mine Falls right there. That's pretty. Wow. This is really steep coming down here, so uh, <laughs> think twice. <laughs> Oh man, this is beautiful. Coal Mine Falls. That is beautiful. All right, that was Coal Mine Falls, and that's the last falls of our trip. It has been a wonderful day out here in the Bankhead National Forest. Thanks for coming along with me. We had a great time.